Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I want to be showcasing my new Turret X plugin. Now this plugin can help you make a turret from just a model or something that you find. Or you could just make your own, like I'm going to do here. If you want to get the plugin, it's going to be in the link in the description. And I'm going to have also a, uh, a dev forum post as well, if you want to go check that out. Anyways, let's just hop right into it. So... I have my plugin installed, it's right over here in the top corner. And if I click on there, we have two parts over here. We have the set up the turret part and to weld parts with it. So what I'm gonna first gonna do, and I'm just gonna make just a turret. So far, I'm just gonna make my own turret. Alright, so we got a turret over here, just a simple turret. So basically, you need to have have a vehicle seat. It's a mandatory requirement. Also, I put this here, it's going to be a fire part, it's going to be a rotation part, our movement part, and this will be our base part, the bottom one. So let me just go ahead and rename these real quick, and then we can hop on to welding. Alright, so we have our, our model here, everything is... Everything has its own name, except for the bottom part, because that doesn't really matter, if, unless you want to name it. But just because I want to, I want to make this a model real quick. Let's just call this a turret, because why not? And now we have to use, we have to weld everything together, to make sure, because if I play, it's all going to fall apart. Alright, so we got our model, so let's just come over here to our plugin, and then we're going to use the weld parts. So what we're going to do is, let me first off, just take the bottom part, and weld that to our base part. Actually, we're also going to weld it to our vehicle seat. So just click the button, and it's all welded together. Then we have to take our turret and weld it to the fire part. So weld those together. And now it should be done with that part. You do not want to weld the, the movement parts together. Like, I do not want to move the roto part with the movement part, not the movement part with the base part, because it's not going to work. So now what we're going to do is we have everything. Let's go into our turret part and let's open up the turret. We come over here to our menu. Let me just drag this over here and make it closer. So let's just begin. And we have these settings here. So let's get their base part. Change. That's our base part. Our movement part. Our roto part. Vehicle seat. Our fire part. And our ammo. Now for our ammo, we have to make, let's just make another part just for example. So let's do, actually no, let's do a sphere. A sphere, here we go. Let's just make it smaller. Make it green. And let's just select it. Now we can just put this part, let's just put it in a replicated storage. Just so we don't have it here. I want to keep the key minus F because I don't really care about that. Lifetime, I'm okay with 10 seconds. Speed is okay, 200. Uh, can't collide, I'm alright with that. Linear speed, uh, I'm okay with that. So, with our together, we can just click on generate. And then, it should do all the welding, then it should give you this turret script that has a folder and a client. Now, you don't really have to worry about these, because it should, it should be all done by now. Alright, so let's go test our turret to see if it's working so I'm gonna press the W and D keys those work goes left and right now I'm gonna press my W and S keys but the turret rotates weird it's not how it's supposed to be it's supposed to be forward but we can change that easily just by coming back into the menu and scrolling down and now we can change our turning settings now, since the movement settings are okay, we don't have to change those. Just the rotation setting. Well, so let's just make it so it only rotates on the X and the Z. Generate that and hit another play test. Now I go in the vehicle seat. I press the A and D keys. Those work. And now I press uh, W and S. Now it works. All right, cool. Now let me press F. It's going backwards. We don't want that. So. 
another easy fix. All right, so all we gotta do to fix this is rotate this around. Then let's click our turret, click the part, and load the parts together. Should be good. Let's go plant again. And now it goes forward. Cool. Dude, let's try changing the ammo actually. Uh, 10 is okay. Let's try going with 30. Play that again. Okay. Forward. Well, the speed's alright. I like it. Now, I don't really want it to drop. So let's just make it a linear speed. Generate that. And now it's just linear, it goes forward just like that. Seems cool. Seems all good. All of this is okay. Ammo is good. Let's try changing the key bind. Let's make it G real quick. Generate that. You can still go back and forth, up and down. Press F, nothing happens. Press G, it fires. Looking good. So that's it. Now, let's say you don't know what the parts are. You're, you're curious about what part it is. You can just click on our question mark. Let me just make the screen smaller. And it will highlight the part that it's talking about. Let's do that again for the base part. The part doesn't move. The rotation part. Uh, it will go up and down just like that. The vehicle seat on the back. The fire part. The front part. Ammo, of course, the thing that comes out, and that is all for that. We can close this now. Click OK. That's it. That's that's basically the plugin. So, hope you enjoyed. We click the start over button real quick. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to look in the description. Check it out, and see you in the next video. Bye.